I'm Hyla and today on Hyla Cooking I've got a 4th of July dessert for you. It's a red, white, and blueberry cake. It's a blueberry cake with white icing and we're gonna put strawberries on top so it's all the colors of the flag, all the colors of my shirt so if I'm eating it and I spill it on my shirt no one's even gonna know so it's like a win-win. Thumbs up for America. <music> start like pretty much every other cake in the world and cream some butter and sugar together. The butter is softened, room temperature-ish. So once your butter is a little bit softened and mixed up and whipped up like this, we're gonna add in our sugar and beat that together. That's What that's doing is um, sort of incorporating some air into the butter. The sugar beats some air into the butter. That's gonna help you make a lighter cake. So this is important. Okay, once it looks kind of sandy like that, we can add the rest of our ingredients. This recipe is pretty low on butter, so to replace some of the butter, I'm gonna use some sour cream. And we're gonna mix that up with three eggs. And our last liquid ingredient is gonna be some vanilla extract. And then I've got my dry ingredients here. This is just flour, baking powder, and salt, so we can start Adding this to the butter sugar mixture, alternating wet, dry, wet, dry, wet. Once it's almost all mixed up together, we're gonna mix in the blueberries by hand. And I'm using frozen blueberries, partly because they're more economical and partly because you can get uh, wild blueberries, which are smaller than usually the ones that you get in the store. And since most of the flavor of a blueberry is in its skin, that means higher skin to guts ratio, so more blueberry flavor. So we want about a cup and a half, and I honestly have never even, out of all the times I've made this, I've never even used fresh blueberries. I always just put in straight up frozen blueberries. So if you use fresh ones, you probably don't need to cook it quite as long. And just gently fold them in. Okay, so our batter is done. We're ready to put it into our pan. This makes a thick cake, so if you don't have a nine inch springform pan like this, then you can just do two regular nine inch pans and then have a layer cake. But I'm a little bit lazy, and this way I don't have to like fuss with layer, you know, icing the middle layer. Okay, so just smooth out the top. Okay, we're gonna put it in a 350 degree oven and bake it for 45 to 50 minutes. Um, if you're doing fresh blueberries, you might want to check it at about 35 to 40 minutes. If you're doing two pans, also check it around 35 minutes. Okay, while the cake's baking, we'll make our cream cheese frosting. So I've got eight ounces of cream cheese here that has been softened to room temperature. I'm just gonna cube it up, put it in my mixer, and blend it up until it's nice and sort of whipped and soft. Once it's nice and fluffed up like that, we can start adding the sour cream and the sifted powdered sugar. And we're just gonna mix that up until it's a nice spreadable consistency. Don't you just wanna eat it? You will get to eat it on a cake. So just leave this at room temperature. If you accidentally maybe didn't put enough powdered sugar in or something, you can just add a little bit more until it's about like this consistency. And we'll come back when the cake is cooled and ready to ice. Hey, guess what's in here? It's cake. All right, it's cooled off. This is my one trick. When you put it on your plate and you're ready to ice it, put some wax paper sheets around the outside. And then when you're done icing, you can just pull them out and you don't get icing all over your plate. So if you're doing a two layer cake, you just wanna go a little bit thin. There should be enough icing though to cover the whole cake. And obviously, I'm not a perfectionist, so you know, do as good a job as you feel necessary. But remember that we're gonna cover all the boo-boos with strawberry slices, yay! And if you were making this ahead of time, you definitely want to put the strawberries on right before you served it. Last one. There's a 
dope ass pentagram right in the middle. God bless America. Okay, so then we just wanna shimmy these little wax paper sheets out of here. So if you wanted to, you could go around the edges with strawberries also. You know, it's up to you. Get fancy. I'm gonna eat some cake, however. Holy mackerel. Oh, I meant to tell you too, I have made this before with a gluten-free flour blend and it works just fine, so there you go. <gasps> Red, white, and blueberry cake, you guys! Oh my gosh! Oh man, I hope you like this recipe. If you like this one, also check out an old video of corn dogs, which was the last time I wore this dress. And I was probably a lot skinnier back then, but whatever, weren't we all? All right, let's give this a shot. Mmm. It's like a big old muffin with some icing on top. It's so good. That sour cream just makes it like, it's not an overly sweet dessert, which I really appreciate. So there you go, red, white, and blueberry cake. I hope you try it. Principal recipe is at hylacooking.com. And please remember to subscribe, thumbs up, tell your friends if you like my show. That would make my heart feel good on the inside.